Hey y'all, here we are sewing on the straps to a skirt bottom. I have, this is an adult. Um, I have my center marking here and here. And I'm gonna align those on top of each other. Pin, clip in place. Add two more pins holding down the edges of each where they overlap. Okay. Now I'm going to run a basting stitch from end to end of this entire, we're just going to treat it like it's one piece now. And I'm going to do that at a quarter of an inch. second basting stitch if you'd like um, at half an inch so you have one inside and outside your seam allowance for time's sake I'm just gonna do one for the video I'm attaching to a skirt the skirt and the briefs are very similar the romper is a little bit different so here's my skirt here's the front of my skirt there is a difference. Most of the skirt backs you're going to want to cut with a seam allowance to save um, fabric. So make sure you're attaching to the front. All right, here is that center marking. I'm just going to align that to the center of my skirt. I cut a notch on the center of my skirt. It's always a habit of mine to cut a notch on anything I cut on the fold especially if I know I'm going to be needing to mark that center. Right, now we're gonna go to the sides and on the adult what we're gonna do is we're gonna align the edge of our strap to the side seam. On the youth version you're gonna align it an inch back. You can also do that on the adult if you want to if you want more side bust coverage. So if you're worried about the side of your bust not being covered you can just take this edge of the fabric back by an inch or two. It's going to give you much more side coverage. If you're not, you can line it at the um, seam, just like this. And we're going to gather, pull this basting stitch, and we're going to gather our straps to match our skirt. You do want to gather all the way across. If you only want it in the center of your bust, you can do it more towards the center of your strap piece. I like to gather mine all the way across and even fullness, like the way that looks better. There we go. I'm just gonna throw a couple clips in there to keep it in place. And repeat on the other side really quick.
gonna set this aside and grab our elastic. Here we go. We are going to match the two ends and stitch them together to create a circle. I like to use a standard zigzag as wide as your machine can go. Mine goes to a seven and then I sh make it a little bit shorter, somewhere between 0.8 and one. I butt the edges together, center the center the two bedded edges on my sewing machine foot and then with that wide zigzag I just go down there we go I just go down this little joint I do back stitch at the top and the bottom and it's a nice flat joint we're gonna have to top stitch along this and so this helps keep it a little less bulky than um, overlapping it if you're worried about it holding you can put a tiny piece of square a tiny square piece of little woven fabric and it will help you um, stabilize it as you put it through your machine but now we have our waist I'm gonna mark it into quarter points. You can do this with clips, pins, or um, a regular pin like I'm gonna do. So I fold it at that seam that we just sewed. That will be our first marking. Then fold it and this front fold will be our second marking. Now it's marked in half into two halves. What I'm gonna do is align the two markings now and these new folds will be our quarter points. These will be four even sections of our elastic. Now we're gonna be attaching the elastic to our dress. You're going to match the quarter points on your elastic to the quarter points around the skirt. So I'm going to put one quarter point. It does not matter where you start, which one you align to first. I'll start here on the side seam. Then my next quarter point is going to be in the center front. onto the next side seam. It's my garage door, <laughs> if you're wondering what that noise is. And then my last one is the center back. You're placing your, and you know what? I did it incorrectly. You place your elastic on the wrong side. I accidentally placed it on the right side, the first couple. And so let me just move that to the inside. You want to place it to the wrong side of the fabric, wrong side of your dress. Always used to everything right sides together in sewing always kind of get you when you do it to the wrong side, right? All right, so I have my elastic pinned. On the skirt and the brief option, the elastic fits to your dress, top, or your briefs pretty closely. You might have to stretch your elastic slightly. Not enough that you need to gather it first. If you're doing the romper, you'll need to gather your romper to fit the elastic. All right, so I'm gonna go to my serger. I like using my serger for this. You can use your sewing machine. If I use my sewing machine, I usually use a triple step zigzag. To stitch it, I'm gonna try my hardest to keep my arm 
out of the way as I sew this so you can see. turn off your knife because we're not going to be trimming anything off. Just using a quarter inch seam allowance. We're just attaching this to the top edge. Um, so really not taking a seam allowance per se. We're just attaching this along the edge. I do have to stretch my elastic slightly to fit. If you're using your sewing machine, a triple step zigzag would be perfect. It's a nice, wide, super stretchy stitch for attaching elastics. I'm actually using swim elastic here. It's what I had in my stash in the 3 8 width. I actually really love cotton swimwear elastic. It's super soft and stretchy, so I actually use it in regular clothing quite a bit. I find it really comfortable since it is a little softer and stretchier. Okay, we're almost to the edge of our straps where we have several layers attaching. And now around the back, we'll just be attaching the elastic to one layer, just the skirt. There we go. All right, so here it is along the back. I'll show you the inside. And then here it is along the front, both sides. You do wanna make sure that you didn't flip either of your edges on your straps. You wanna double check and make sure all of those are looking how you want them to look. Sometimes even if you baste, you might need to um, double check. You see mine flipped up a teeny tiny bit, but I think it's just within the seam allowance. When I flip it up, it looks great. You can't tell that it's folded underneath, so I'm not gonna redo that. All right. So what we're gonna do now is you can remove the basting stitch and then we're gonna fold it down and pin it all around just like that. And I'm gonna do that really quickly. All right, so I have <clears throat> pressed my elastic down to the wrong side. This is around the back. And then this is around the front. You must use pins on the front so you don't get the, the straps, but you just fold it down, put a pin. My favorite stitch to use is this triple step zigzag. You do it right off the machine settings. You don't change the stitch width or length usually. The straps are pretty bulky, so you can try to get them in a comfortable place before you take off. I'm gonna do around the back first. You're gonna wanna take a 3 8 inch seam here, or hem, or top stitch. <clears throat> you want your needle to hit the very edge of this 3 8 inch elastic to get it um, held down. Just like 
we had to slightly stretch our elastic to fit around the first time, we're gonna have to slightly stretch the elastic as we top stitch. So you're just gonna pull it until there's no gathers. It's nice, nice and smooth and top stitch away. Since we're pulling the front of the fabric very slightly, you're gonna to want to put a little bit of tension on the back of your fabric so that it can move through your sewing machine um, feed dogs nice and easily. <clears throat> never pulling, never pulling because that will um, mess up the timing of your sewing machine. You always wanna let your sewing machine um, pull the fabric through itself. But since I'm pulling on the front, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of tension on the back as well. You want to make sure, uh, make sure as you're top stitching that you don't have a bunch of extra fabric up here on the fold. If you do, it'll kind of look like a gather at the top. You want to make sure it's nice and smoothed down. The only fabric you have is to just cover your elastic as you fold it down. to be stretching or pulling your fabric at all in any way. The only thing that you should be stretching very slightly is your elastic, which I know they're all sewn together now, but you only want to stretch the, your elastic until it fits the fabric. If you continue stretching, you're going to stretch your elastic out more than it needs to and you might make it want to flip. Same thing if you stretch your fabric this way you're gonna make this elastic wanna flip like this. So no tension anywhere, just nice and smooth. Okay, we're getting to the straps. You just wanna make sure you don't catch your straps or your skirt in this top stitch. So just nice and carefully where everything is laid out and just continue on. You're attaching the exact same way, making sure you're hitting the very edge of your 3 8 inch elastic and stretching it only until all the gathers are gone, not pulling or stretching your fabric any other way. important again not to pull your fabric this way or your elastic is going to want to flip out away from your body. And not to have any extra fabric up this way either because then it'll create that little fold or ruffle type look. Just nice and smooth. is what we're going for. Okay, we're almost to our starting point. And we're done. Gotta get these long straps. <laughs> All right, let's see our finished waist and straps. There we go. So our gathering is nice and even. Our elastic is looking nice and smooth. Here is the back. And then from the insides, there is the back and the inside of the front. There we go. Now you're ready to wrap it up in a million different ways. Be creative. <laughs> I can't wait to see yours. Don't forget to share with us. 
Bye.